Hi, today we are going to discuss about how to override out of the box client lib in APM. So when I'm speaking, speaking about the client lib, it could be normal client lib, it could be core level of every component level of client lib, or it could be the client lib related to the CQ dialog box. Okay. So let's start. So the steps to override the client lib is you have to identify which is the component and what are the list of client lib. Those are under that particular component. Once you identified the component and the client lib, if you are using the same component by extending it, you have to copy the content of the core level, whichever you want to override. Once you copied the content, you have to override all the references and even whatever you wanted to override the content of those client lib information, you have to override. So during this process, we'll, we'll do this step one by one. So this is one of the way uh, it, it is actually done as part of the UI frontend module equal to none when we were using and we won't have any frontend module it is quite handy. And there are a lot of places uh, you might not see any kind of client lib references. When I'm speaking client lib references in the sense, you might not see the client lib category name referenced in any of the places because those are being fired with a client lib called hook page hook client lib. Okay. I will add this particular uh, documentation as well where you can understand or you can go through this documentation which uh, shows the steps to do the overriding or customizing any kind of authorable client lib and even the standard client lib as well it does so okay as part of this we have to make sure we have to uh, these two client lib category we have to have as part of our customized client lib as well okay now i have already created a component so i have created a component called accordion so this accordion component is extended from the core accordion if you see here it is extended from the core accordion and what I wanted to do, I'll show the example what is my accordion. So I have actually, so this is the extended accordion. This is the standard extended accordion. This is our custom accordion. So just to identify, so when you create the project, you will have an accordion component under your project. So that will have the name as accordion. But for uh, identifying very accurately, I have created one more accordion, which has the name is accordion hyphen custom. That's where I'm, I have already added those both component. This is the core component, which is extended by default as part of the project creation. It appeared and this is our own custom accordion component. Okay. Even though it is a custom, uh, extended accordion component, I do not have any HTML if you see, and I'm using still the uh, behavior of the parent component, parent component in the sense core component. Okay. Now, as part of this, what I wanted to do, if I open the CQ dialog box, if you see uh, here, you can add uh, any number of component as part of the item. But if we go to the properties, there is an option called single item expansion. This means if I turn on, by default, there is a value called none. Okay. And if I click this, so the behavior, what uh, the expected behavior is, if I click uh, by default, whenever this particular accordion will be appearing right they are not going to be expanded okay right now it is also not getting expanded because i have not added the value let me add the values body let me reload this okay if you see i am able to open this one okay this second item one item two i am not able to open because i have not added any body component okay now I will reload the piece by default, which component it will be open. None of these will be open. Okay. That's because it's part of the CQ dialog of the accordion. We have mentioned single item expansion, none, but if I choose first, right, done, then I'll reload this. Then the first accordion will be open and the same. I can make those changes to 
just open the instead of first i can open the second one okay here uh, uh, let me show you quickly this one as well yeah second one by default will be open but we do not when we don't want to open any of the accordion we can just simply select none so this example actually i came across in one of the issue that in previous uh, version of am in accordion cq dialog you won't get this none option but this none option has been added in the latest accordion component okay that's because it is it was an update added by the am team but here as an example what we are going to do uh, wherever it is written as none we are going to return something like disabled accordion expansion okay disabled accord, default expand uh, default accordion expansion disabled so this value we are going to change it okay so how to do it so what we will do just to identify uh, I'll, I'll go to the libs so if you see uh, whatever the my component name let me identify the component name so in the component double a if i click here this is my super type and the same location if i go so this is my accordion of from core component okay under the accordion we have a client lib okay this is the accordion client lib this is cq dialog and in the client lib we have three client lib one is editor editor hook another is site client lib so in this editor client lib the code is already there and it is around i think uh, let me show you yeah somewhere here okay uh, i have identified but in your case you can just uh, uh, copy this content to your cq dialog in in your uh, a no id once you are able to copy this uh, content to your id you can figure out which is the part uh, is actually re um, responsible for to enabling the none option uh, once you identify you you will be able to uh, change it as well okay and this i am uh, even you will be able to compare between two out of the box cliently based on the previous version and new version and once you are able to identify the change you can add the newer version changes into the older version by adding a custom client lib. Basically, we are going to override that particular old client. Okay. So here, what we are going to do, I have already copied this client lib to our client lib, to accordion client lib. Right now, it is same. Okay. But what we have to do when we are copy pasting, we have to do a lot of modification just to enable these client lib should be loaded rather than the core client lib. Okay. By default, this core client lib will be called. But in our case, we have to call the new client lib. I'm not changing the name. You can change the name. There is no restriction on changing the name. You can change the name. The major, uh, the uh, notable point is you have to make sure you have to change the proper client lib name for your client lib categories name for your uh, custom one. Okay. If you see, allow proxy is here true, but in the out of the box, the allow proxy is not even there okay so based on that some of the key point you have to note so i'll just show what are the changes i have done i'll just go to the my git where i can just show one by one changes what are the changes we have done it okay so this is my client lib okay uh, okay let me open first the content if you see this is the addition of new component i have created and this is the custom uh, accordion i've just changed the name only now if i open the client lib so there are three client lib so what are the changes i have done so first in the accordion js uh, none of the field i have changed okay what i have changed i have changed something here uh, let me go in this view only it will be easier so as for the editor dot content xml i have made changes to this particular category name but if you see there is two category name in the client lib is it possible yes the categories attribute type is a array string array type so you can give multiple category name to a single client lib remember that here so one category name is this page hook another is by default it is it was a different one but i have modified to wknd by adding a wkd initials so i'll show you what was the earlier name 
so if i go to the libs accordion editor this is the core wcm component accordion v1 editor so instead of core what i have done i have replaced with wknd and along with this i have added this page hook okay this is important to add because whenever you are adding this particular accordion component into the page your cq dialog editor client lib also need to be added to the edit mode of the client lib okay edit mode of uh, all the client lib those are those supposed to be loaded in the edit mode to that list this particular client lib need to be added and for that we have to use a hook hook client lib that was defined as a cq authoring editor site that's where i have uh, shared this particular documentation where they have mentioned we have to add these two information to our uh, cq dialog client lib so that we can make uh, these client lib loaded as part of our page okay so this is the category name we have to add second this is the dependency we have to provide third you have to change the category name of the copied client lib you should not keep the same client lib name otherwise the same the parent client lib also will be called and there will be chances of conflict okay that's where you should change it and because you are changing it there are other places also you might have to change these okay now i have made the changes to the editor hook client lib also even site client lib also remember here so there are three client lib this site client lib is meant for the actual component however these two client lib editor and editor hook are meant only for the edit mode of that particular component okay i have just for uh, only for example i have copied the whole client lib and i have made the changes to the this uh, site client lib also that is instead of core i am putting wknd but the dependencies will be still same because it is going to be dependent on the same set of client lib that was earlier because most of the places i have not made any changes to its javascript the only changes we are going to make is the editor only and as part of this there is one more change you have to do you have to check it because there are some places the cq dialog do not have the extra client lib property but in my case in the slick cq uh, dialog we i had the extra client lib information as this along with this okay so the second client lib what was provided it was actually referring to the parent class client lib so i had to override the cq dialog also and i had to change the client lib of my custom one rather than the parent one okay this is the way you can actually override the client lib now i am going to change the value of that particular none so that we can check whether it is appearing or not accordion expansion single item expansion is disabled okay. let's see whether it will work or not okay uh, try to use empty cache hard reload because sometime the client lib might be cached so even though you reload you might see the old changes and this option you will get when your chrome dev tool is open otherwise you won't be able to see this particular option okay now let's open properties okay see now the value has been changed instead of none okay now similarly we can do any further changes in our cq dialog box with this kind of behavior with this behavior i have uh, i'm going to add the these changes with uh, the branch name edge client lib override authoring client lib override okay authoring client lib override okay. 
so that you can always uh, refer to this particular branch to see the changes what are the changes i have done the reason of uh, telling this approach is whenever you feel there is some changes that is not there in your cq dialog which should be there as per the latest client lib uh, basically the latest client lib changes so you can copy the latest client lib changes and override your old client lib changes to achieve the new features that are available as part of the out of the box client lib and this usually happens because your prod server or stage server or dev server the higher environment server might not be updated with the latest uh, packages of the am so you might have to copy only those specific content which you need to apply for the achieving or, or using the latest feature of the a okay so that's the place you can use it uh, this is my branch i'm going to commit this and i'm providing this is the github url to find out so i all all of my uh, tutorial uh, changes i am committing to this particular uh, url and you can always check this particular url to see your changes or if you wanted to take any of the changes you wanted to copy or you wanted to refer you can always go to here okay now uh, there is one more change i wanted to uh, mention that instead of doing this override client lib you can still go for extra client lib option clearly you just need to go for extra client lib option so what you can do you can create your own client lib and you refer as part of your extra client lib and it will still work so that you don't need to do all these uh, hook related changes you just need to create a simple client lib and you can refer into the extra client lib i have made a video related to this extra client lib in my previous videos you can refer to that video to achieve it there is some cases only this is uh, useful where you see whenever your cq dialog do not have any extra client lib and still your client libs are getting loaded as part of the uh, core client lib loading as part of your page hook in those cases it is important to if you wanted to use the new feature you have to override along with the page hook related information page hook related client category name uh then only you will be able to load or override your core client lib okay we came to the end of the video thank you